What do you think are the most constructive steps both the American government and American society could take as these dramas develop across the Arab world? Well, I think we have a lot to fix at home. Uh, and by that I mean, uh, uh, in the first instance, our foreign affairs budget. You know, it, it, it's not special pleading. I no longer have a position in government. But uh, we don't have enough Arabists in the Middle East. We don't have enough resources to ensure that training in regional studies uh, accompanies every assignment. Uh, you're in the military, you get an assignment, you're gonna do training. In the State Department, you get an assignment and they want you there the next day. Uh, sometimes the department's lucky because you happen to know something and most often you don't. Uh, that also means that uh, there are openings here for universities. Uh, Colgate, I understand, is interested in expanding its uh, global programs. And I think it's the perfect time to do that. Uh, hopefully there will be a community that will support that. Uh, a, just making the uh, community of graduates aware of our interests in this region, but also maybe inducing uh, some of the graduates to actually go into public service for a while and uh, to uh, represent us in, in the region. So I think at home we have things that we have to fix to get us ready to do what we were not doing as effectively in the past. Uh, in the region, I, I think the, the most important first step right now is right-sizing our presence and our interests. And I'll give you two examples. Uh, when I was the ambassador in Egypt, I had 2,200 people working for me. I didn't need 2,200 people. I didn't want 2,200 people. But we had 19 agencies of government all competing to do what they wanted to do. And we had this huge embassy that in itself became part of the problem. Um, that has to be right-sized. Our presence in the Gulf needs to be right-sized. We have a very large naval presence. Once uh, uh, the Iraq uh, chapter is fully closed and Afghanistan is closed, do we really need to have a fleet based in Bahrain and a large presence elsewhere in the Gulf? So these are big challenges that uh, you know, often get uh, neglected because of the day-to-day -day crises, but you know, we've got to grapple with them sooner or later.